Good morning, everyone. This is Joe Hinches with Beyond the Chart, and this is a stock chart analysis update on Yahoo. This is Monday morning, about 10, 10 a.m. Central Time on January 26. So this is the close on Friday. This is the price action. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can see uh, what I think is going on is I think we're in a fifth minor wave up in that we are in, we've had one, two, three, four, and uh, that this was a fourth wave. And we're, we're working a fifth within a fifth, okay? And actually, it's within a fifth. Or no, actually, we're working a fifth minute wave within a fifth minor wave within a third intermediate wave up. Now let me back on out and tell you why I'm saying all of that. Okay, so here is the price action on Yahoo since uh, November the bottom, November 2008. I think we had one, two, and we're working a third intermediate wave, which is typically a lot more vertical, a lot stronger, more powerful. So now within this third intermediate wave, I think we've had one, two, three. Again, three is typically the most powerful, where you usually see a lot of gaps, etc. And a fourth pullback, kind of choppy, still overlapping in through here. Then we're launching off on a fifth minor wave up again. Okay, so now what I'm looking at, let's zoom in. There's a good chance that this fifth wave is going to go to the top of this channel. Okay, this channel encompasses this impulsive wave. So now when I look into the fifth minor wave, okay, here's four, this is going to be five up into here. I'm looking at five waves again that should lay this out. And here's one, two, three, four. Now it's interesting, we are also getting another impulse channel in this fifth wave. We connect one, two, project back from two, and here's where it looks like fourth complete, you know, completed. Okay, now let's zoom in a little bit more. So now we're getting this, this trading up above the 10 day moving average in here. It's pushing up. Look for it to break this trend line here. Why do I have this drawn here? Because it encompasses the corrective action of this uh, corrective wave, just like this did here, where I drew this trend line. This is a little bit flatter. We might when it breaks this we should get a more powerful move although this was pretty doggone powerful see how it gapped out of this this was a zigzag this is a little flatter and so now let's take a quick look to see how it's doing this morning let me pull this other chart in here here's the price action so far this morning so it's continuing this move uh, to the high side and uh, we'll see if we, you know, can break this uh, this trend line here. And actually, I'll be looking to see if we get maybe a little minor a little pullback and, uh, you know, watching to see for uh, an, an entry. Now, typically, there was no good. Once this thing launched here, there wasn't any good pullback to get on board. It's like either you were on board or you weren't. And, you know, a lot of times, though, I mean, you're going to get five waves within this fifth wave, too. So we'll have to watch that. Anyway, that's my perspective on uh, Yahoo here for this morning. Yahoo looks like it's trying to move, and we'll see how it plays out. All right, this has been Joe from Beyond the Chart. If you're watching this video anywhere else but my website, head on over to, to the website. Check it out. Uh, i got posts and other good stuff over there. And if you're not a subscriber, just click on the little red box on the screen and subscribe. Remember, stay focused, follow your plan, and trade without fear. Have a great Monday, everyone.